What's going on, Arc Builders? Today we're going to learn how to build octagonal structures in Arc. No, we're, today we're going to be talking about a... Uh, we're going to be... This is our... I'm not starting over. I've done this three times already. This is just the video that you're going to get, and I'm really sorry. But I just can't do this anymore. This is your MS Paint Masterclass Episode 1. And this is how to do... I don't know what to call it, masking or something. It's when you take one picture and you cut out a piece and put it over another picture. Let's just give an example because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Here's a television, right? This is a sample image that I have prepared, right? Oh, that's a lot bigger. I'm just, I had that nice setup. I'm just going to ruin it. I'm going to pop this back down too. All right, so how does this work? Uh, if you have a bunch of screens, if you have two monitors or even three like I do, um... This is a lot easier to do, but more or less, what you're going to do is you're going to take an area that you want to crop out. Uh, before I do that, actually, I want to point out some important things. Up here, your background color, right? This is an important thing to make a note of, as well as this in your selection. You want to make sure transparent selection is selected, right? So I'm going to do that. So let's say I want to put... Um, this picture of your favorite anime, not mine, your favorite anime, uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, Yu Yu Hakusho, I don't know how to say that, this guy, you're going to take this picture, right, and first of all, if you paste it and it's bigger, you, you fucked up, if it's smaller, you fucked up, so you got to go into another paint window, that's why I have so many of them open, and you have to make sure that, uh, the whole thing fits, um, so let's resize this a little bit. We'll put this to like 115%. Does that look like it's going to fit? No. Let's do 125 again. That's fine. I don't care if it's pixelated. You don't care if it's pixelated. All right. Cool. Uh, I'm going to move this off the screen. This is a little cluttered, isn't it? So we're going to go into this, and I'm just going to select this area, right? And I'm going to delete it. If you want to get more technical, if you want to make it look nicer, I'm not going to fault you for it, but I'm just not going to do that. So, with the whole image selected, or at least the area that you want, I suppose I could be a little bit neater about this. Let's just take this right here. Okay. Copy, or Control-C, or Control-X to cut. And then we can kind of just discard, discard this window. And come back over to this. And then if I hit uh, one second, actually. I'm going to just pull, blow this up a little, move this into the center. If I control V, if I paste, oh no, something has happened. The background color right here, right, has to be the same color here. Um, you can do this ninja move where you right click with the eyedropper tool, right, and then control Z. It'll still say there. So let's say, for example, I do this. Uh, if I control V and paste it and I pull up my eyedropper tool if I right click it will select that control Z it'll stay there so now come up here transparent selection again in the new window control V isn't that nice so now you can make dumb retarded Facebook memes to share to all your friends that are I'm not gonna make fun of your friends I don't wanna break my rules anymore but this is how you uh, how you do this technique. I really don't know what it's called. I don't know what to call it. I'm going to call it uh, punching. Image punching. All right? If we can get that term famous on Twitter. Let's get that Let's get that trending on Twitter. Can we do that? All right. So that's those two. That's um, example one. You can take this a little further if you go to, say, everybody remembers Bucky Lassick. That last time I murdered him in an image. Uh, today we're going to turn Bucky Lassick into a lot of spaghetti. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to take our, our picture of a lot of spaghetti. That's a fucking high <laughs> resolution picture of a lot of spaghetti. That's fucking 2K, uh, 2K spaghetti. Yeah, holy hell. <laughs> That's a big picture of spaghetti, dude. What are you going to do with all that spaghetti? All right, so you don't need all of this. Um, I'm going to just select a, a nice meaty... I don't dare I say, nice meaty selection of spaghetti. Uh, Control-C. Uh, if you're like I am and you 
your fingers are jumpy and you press a lot of keys when you're not supposed to, you can open up another paint window and just paste that good part in there, right? And uh, move this off to the side. So this is my spaghetti. I'm going to minimize that. Um, this is going to be uh, where Bucky Lassick is going to go. So it's good old friend Bucky Lassick. Yeah. So let's... um. Freeform selection. Make sure this is... It doesn't have to be white. Uh, the background color does not have to be white. I didn't mention that earlier. It could be any color you want. So long as it's consistent in both of the windows. Right? Uh, I just recommend white because that's what it sticks you with. You don't really have to change it at all. Unless you want to do something crazy. Which I'll show you in the last step. Uh, so let's take our Bucky Lassic, right? And uh, I am sorry about this you're gonna have to watch me cut him out for the whole all right let's just not beat around the bush so what I like to do is I'm gonna save his eyes for uh, an added effect you're gonna hate this and I promise you you're gonna hate this right control C I'm gonna go back over to this um, spaghetti picture and I'm just gonna paste uh, one eye right there and then I'm gonna paste the other eye there too and I promise you that this is um, probably offensive and I give you permission to be really upset right copy Um, where are you? There's Bucky Lassic's mouth. And you see, we got our nice little <laughs> Bucky Lassic cut out over there. So the next step is we're going to go and crop out the rest of, uh, the rest of Bucky Lassic. So let's start here. I'm going to do this fast and loose. You can take as much time on this as you want. I'm not going to yell at you if you go slower than I do. And I'm certainly not going to yell at you if you take uh, even less care than I do. So, delete, right? Control A, Control C. Got the whole picture right there. Fun fact, I already did a tutorial on this, but if you if you have a bunch of windows open and you shake your window like this, everything else behind it will close. And if you do it again, it'll go back. That's not very nice of them to do that. All right. So uh, I already know that the Bucky Elastic picture is bigger than this, but I just don't, I just can't be bothered to really care about that. See this? Or here? That's because I didn't set it to transparent selection, right? So when I paste the old Bucky Elastic, something has happened. <laughs> something, something horrible has happened. And that's the next trick, the next tip I'm going to get into. Uh, so what you have to do in a situation like this is change it to a different color right and this pink color is a preset so I could just do this real easy and the reason I did that is because when I take this picture now and I cut it that little white portion that broke out at the bottom there is not gonna be broken out anymore right so now I got a picture of Bucky Lassick and he's <laughs> made his spaghetti for some fucking reason <laughs> hold on hold on I fucked up again once again I've ruined it did I uh, no, okay, it's still there. So I'm going to take this old window. It's useful to have a fucking million of these paint windows open, uh, especially because it makes you look like even more of a fucking psychopath when you <laughs> decide to do something retarded like this. Um, so you can take your Bucky Lassic, cut, paste, get them in frame how you want them. I actually don't like that. I'm going to move this down. Okay, Bucky Lassic made out of spaghetti coming right up. That'll be fucking four hundred dollars in the US Museum. <laughs> okay, that's our Bucky Lassic made out of spaghetti. If you come over to uh this thing you can steal his eyes back. And uh I guess you're gonna have to guess. And then another you're gonna have to do this again. With the pink. Right? So that way when you copy and paste, it's transparent selection. 
So you gotta remember where his eyes were. I can see his eyelashes there, so I know that they're there. All right. So uh, let's take this. Control C, Control V. Come on down to Bucky Elastic Town. That doesn't look horrible. All right. And then now uh, we just gotta get the mouth. And the mouth's kind of easy because it's lined up right there, you know? Right about there. Cool. So that's their new custom handmade Bucky Lassic. Just like last time. That actually looks really horrible. Like I just skinned, <laughs> I took all of his skin off. <laughs> Christ, they hate it. All right. Uh, so. I think I covered everything I really wanted to in this video. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a like. And uh, don't forget to uh, keep on arc building, my guys. Uh, Bucky Lassic loves you. And he tells you to don't listen to your parents. And uh, remember to go to church. Because it's important. Alright. I hope you guys have a safe uh, what holiday is it today? 26th? Where's this? Um, what holiday is today? Um, National Sorry Day. I hope you What the fuck? Are you serious? National Sorry Day. Hope you guys have a nice, happy, happy National Sorry Day. Uh, I am sure sorry that I stayed up until 5 in the morning because I drank a whole pot of coffee around midnight. That was fun. So you guys have a safe day, and I hope that this 11 minutes was not a total, complete waste of your time, because I'm not editing it. Have a nice night.